Hi guys, the most common weakness for most club players is the high ball to the backhand. The reason for this is it isolates our arm from our body and it's hard to develop power from that position. It's also difficult to control the angle of your racket. In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways in which you can deal with the high ball to your backhand. You can therefore try these and see which fits into your game the best. So the first and most common way to deal with the high ball to the backhand is to move back. By moving back, you'll create more time for yourself. You allow the ball to drop into your hitting zone, which tends to be between your shoulder and your knee is the most comfortable hitting zone. And from there, you can play a similar ball back to your opponent to neutralize and to cause them the same problem. With this, you've got to make sure that you're getting back behind the bounce and then transferring your weight into the ball when you hit it. This shot requires a low to high swing path, brushing steep up the ball. It also requires a slight open angle just to get that loft. Um, treating it a bit like a lob, imagining that there's a player at the net and you're trying to get it over them. And again, you wanna make sure you're aiming for height, depth and spin to cause the same problem to your opponent. Now this is more the defensive way of dealing with a high ball to the back end. And it's a good way to neutralize the rally with a good loop to their back end. It might even lead to an attacking shot on the next ball. But most commonly, you'll find yourself getting into a bit of a loopy rally. So that's why it's not the best option. So the second option in how to deal with the high ball to the backhand is to take the ball on the rise. This way enables you to keep your court position rather than give up the court position and go behind the baseline. Now to do this, this requires um, you to prepare high um, before the shot, take the ball at about shoulder height. And also you wanna to aim to hit this one horizontal rather than down, depending where you are on the court. If you're closest to that, you could hit it down into the court. Um, but if you're closer to the baseline, then you need to hit it more horizontal and let gravity bring the ball back down. Lean into the ball to generate the power. It's very difficult to generate power above shoulder height. So it's really important that you get your body weight leaning in um, as you're swinging your racket from shoulder to shoulder. So this is very much a flatter shot. It is more aggressive. You'll find you'll be able to maneuver the ball a bit better and cause your opponent a bit more trouble but you've got to make sure that you position the ball deep um, or away from your opponent, otherwise it is landing within their hitting zone. Here, the third and final way of dealing with the high ball to the backhand um, requires you to see this opportunity really early. If you see your opponent setting up for a loop to your backhand, rather than the more natural thing stepping back, you can step forwards into the court and you can even take it out of the air with a drive volley. To play this shot is you've got to really get up to and spot where the ball is going to bounce and meet the ball before it bounces. And you wanna be taking this around hip height, playing with a little bit of low to high swing um, and a bit of top spin, just like you would your normal ground stroke. This is the ultra aggressive way to deal with the high backhand. And it can win you a lot of points, but it can also, is high risk, and it could also cause you to make a few unforced errors. But it definitely sends a signal to your opponent that if you're going to play this shot, I'm gonna take it out of the air, I'm gonna play aggressive, um, and it's not going to work against me. And it's a really good uh, message to send to your opponent. When I did play this shot, it set me up nicely to come forward and finish on the next volley, or it even played the winner straight off the bat. Um, so really ultra aggressive, high risk way of dealing with the high back end uh, and of making sure that you avoid that shot altogether. So there you have it guys. There's three ways you can deal with the most common weakness, which is the high ball to the back end. You can either let it drop and play the high ball back you could just take it on the rise at shoulder high and play more aggressive backhand, flatter through the court to set you up with more points. Or you can take it completely out of the air, playing the ultra aggressive way with the drive volley. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more coaching content and I'll see you in the next one.